Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the week of August 1st. Uh, this week, I am still collaborating with Marie Moore, so definitely check her out below. Her link is in the description uh, right at the top there. Uh, so uh, her channel is easy to find, but she does tarot and astrology, uh, weeklies and monthlies. So again, if you haven't checked her out, I know a lot of you have, but uh, definitely check her out if you have not had a chance to yet. So let's see what's coming up for you. There's been a lot of... Uh, the same stuff coming up for all the signs is kind of, it's pretty interesting. Um, so let's see if there's anything different coming up for Pisces. And uh, right off the bat, it's way different, so that's nice. Um, but let's see here what's going on for Pisces. All right. Yeah, so uh, very interesting. Definitely a week to uh, trust your intuition and, I mean, use your intuition, which is always true for Pisces, but it's, it's uh, kind of highlighted here, so make sure to do that. But you start off with the Six of Clubs. This is a great card, and it's frequently called the Prophet, as in, like, looking into the future. So a lot of you could be very future goal-oriented this week. You end with the Jack of Clubs as well. Uh, Jack of Clubs is a card of goals and, and looking at your goals in the future. But the good news about, uh, I would say, the Jack of Clubs is the Jack of Clubs is a card of action. So it says you're like taking action on these goals. Six of Clubs, while it's a good card and it can represent success, it's also not a card of action. So sometimes you don't always take action on these goals. But again, there's like a, there's a little bit more of a push this week, I think, with that Jack of Clubs. So that's nice. But, um, also a great card of goals. And like I said, this card represents success. So a lot of you could be seeing, you know, work towards goals, being more successful and, and things actually kind of, uh, you know, fleshing out here. Uh, it, it's interesting because I mean, when I started reading, I was picturing the six of diamonds. And to me, the six of clubs is an upgrade from the six of diamonds. Like the six of diamonds is you planting the seeds. This is the seed sprouted. Look, I mean, it even looks like little plants on there, right? So, you know, to me, this is like, things sprouting, kind of you getting ready for a harvest almost in a lot of areas of your life. So I think a lot of you are making just changes in general in your whole entire life. You know, like I, I don't think that Pisces is just making, uh, I don't think most Pisces that are changing are making just one change. I think a lot of you Pisces are making multiple things like changes in your life and I think this week you could be seeing a lot of rewards from that so that's nice next you have the four of diamonds a lot of you are planning a move thinking about moving you know I'm a Pisces I'm I'm gonna be moving I'm thinking you know I'm, I'm not thinking about it I am moving at the uh you know in the fall here um so you know definitely true for me and I know a lot of you are also planning on moving this is a great card for planning a move thinking about moving saving money for a move plan you know making sure you can move uh all, all sorts of stuff um, but it also represents more money coming into the house so a lot of you could be seeing more money coming in and just um, creating more stability in general I, I mean I think for like the past like eight years that's what's what, what uh, Pisces wants is just stability and wants to be stable and not have to worry about anything and we haven't had that so we deserve it right next you have the five of diamonds great card for starting new things I think this week is really great um, you know for starting new things in general I'm just trying to think of the astrology off the top of my head of course, I'm blanking on it, but uh, I, I do think it's a great week to start new things. Uh, just, uh, again, I know um, on the second, there's a lot of stuff going on on the second. Uh, again, I, I'm blanking on the astrology, but um, anyway, uh, maybe I'll do a video on it. But uh, this is a great card for starting new things, starting new projects, it, anything anything new that you want to start, even new relationships. This is a great card for starting relationships, um, friendships, anything, just anything new um, you should start under this. So if you're thinking about starting a business or something, also great for that. Represents more money coming in there. Next, you have the three hearts. Card of emotional happiness. Card of just being happy. So uh, a lot of you could have a lot of just be you know, happy this week, have a lot of happiness. It is also a card of um, needing to make a choice. Uh, let's see here. What else is going on? Well, you know, this is the message that's been coming up for like every single sign. And that is that I think maybe there is a little bit of a test from the universe week, this week for everybody. And it's like I think we'll be presented with something old and presented with something new and we'll be tempted with the old thing but we need to pick what is new so with any if you're presented with any choices to make pick what is new pick what is different do something different this week eight of clubs coming up next pick what is new pick what is different to overcome obstacles that's what this card represents uh you know what i'm starting to call this card the road less traveled because that's what it really represents it represents taking the road less traveled doing what most doing the work that most people aren't willing to do doing the things that most people aren't willing to do to me that's pisces in a nutshell i mean like i said it's funny i watch a lot of these other readers and things and i think um a lot of people describe pisces but uh i think they've got it all wrong you know and um 
you know, I even heard somebody say that Pisces aren't very successful. And like I've told you guys a hundred times, Pisces dominates, dominates the list of millionaires and billionaires in the world. So it's, I mean, it's totally wrong to say that Pisces isn't, isn't very successful. But Pisces are also the innovators. And, um, you know, I always use Steve Jobs as an example. You know, he was an innovator, extremely successful, and a Pisces too. Um, but there are uh, countless other examples. So, uh, and, and every one of them has picked you know, gone a different direction or has done things in, you know, like I said, I think part of the thing is that Pisces does this is, uh, you know, picks the hard way of doing something, but it's because nobody else is willing to do it. And um, that's what leads to success. And sometimes that's what I think of this card. I think it's like, sometimes it's like putting in extra work into something could be a relationship, could be a business, but it's like that extra work uh, like eliminates competition, number one, and makes you more successful. So I'm sorry if I went on a little rant there, but that's what that means. Next, you have the Jack of Hearts. Uh, this is Pisces, uh, for sure. Jack of Hearts, you know, water sign. Person doesn't have to be a male, could be male or female. And, uh, I think that Pisces, maybe we need to have a little bit of fun this week since we're coming up as a Jack. We, I think we need to be more lighthearted and things like that this week. But also, can represent an admirer coming, coming in, somebody who's interested in us. Definitely love on the table. You got the three of hearts. You got the Jack of clubs as well at the end. Two Jacks. Jacks pretty much represent admirers, people who are interested in us. So definitely some love there. Uh, but it can also just represent us again, being in a position of power this week. Uh, next you have the two of spades. Needing to separate away from something, I mean, uh, like, again, nothing new here. I think Pisces has been, has gotten used to just letting things go. Um, that's probably been maybe our biggest challenge over the past, like, eight years again. Uh, so learning to let things go, learning to move past things and just start something else. Um, so, you know, maybe letting something go this week. But I really don't feel like it's that big of a deal for you. And at the end here, you have the Jack of Clubs. For some of you, I feel like this is could be a helpful, like, sibling, again, male or female, um, sibling or cousin or something like that, who's a water sign or even a friend who, I mean, who's a fire sign. So even a friend coming in here to help you out this week. Um, but for the rest of you, I think this is you looking at goals again, setting goals, making goals happen. So, wow, it looks like one heck of a week for you, a lot going on. Definitely trust your intuition, use your communication skills and, and do what is new this week for sure. So, um, yeah, that looks awesome. So thank you so much again for watching this video and, uh, enjoy your week.